Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to highlight two brand new free Steam game releases. One coming from a group of college students, which honestly, I've been seeing some of these games dropping by college students that are quite impressive and it just is a clear indicator that I was a damn degenerate while I was in college. But nevertheless, we'll talk about that. Another freebie available as well. And I want to give you guys a heads up on one of the major uh, PC game releases today. It's not tomorrow that some of you guys might think, but Atomic Heart is out later today. We'll talk all about it. The reviews are going live. And yes, PC does get an early release, kind of similar to the Bandai Namco thing. We'll talk that at the end of this video. But first of all, Sky Island, brand new free release over on Steam. The game has a 94% positive reception on Steam. The first review is literally, this game should not be free. Um, yeah, Sky Island is, a, is made by a group of students in a college. Quarter view action adventure game. Enjoy the wonderful world and beautiful environments as you help the protagonist, Pino, fix his broken plane and defeat monsters to return home safely. While trying to make his grandfather's dream come true, an unknown creature attacked Pino, while, which led him to crash land on Sky Island to return home safely, fix his broken plane and defeat the monster. The game Sky Island is an adventure game created by a team of college students. You can use a sword, spear, and hammer as primary weapons and a bow as a secondary weapon. Each weapon has its own identity and temporary skill. You can advance these weapons to make them more powerful. The game notes charming levels and um, autumn islands, summer islands, as well as winter island. So it's a completely free game. And uh, yeah, again, I feel like it's night. I, I don't know if this is like a regular thing because we've seen a uh, steam release a few or people just release, and it's always that like college students release these free games on Steam, and there was one other one that I covered a while ago on this channel, and I was like, man, this looks really impressive for a group of college students to be making this game, and I was like, and uh, this one looks really impressive too, for it being a free release and it being done by college students, like, dude, I was a damn degenerate in college, I was doing F all and honestly, I look back at that with a lot of regret, but I'm sure a lot of you guys were in the same boats where uh, college was kind of uh, degeneracy personified. Nevertheless, some of you guys were actually intelligent and like accomplished a lot of great... I accomplished things in college, but man, I feel like I could have done so much more instead of uh, being a damn degenerate. Nevertheless, uh, go check that out. Sky Island available right now on Steam. Absolutely free. Came out a couple days ago as well, but... um. Yeah, I want to give it a mention now. Also, Missing Hiker, a short indie horror game where your brother Ethan went missing while hiking and you need to find him. 477 reviews, 87% positive. Looks like very much a throwback horror title. It notes a short, creepy horror experience, VHS aesthetics, atmospheric ambiance, immersive sound design, volumetric lighting, and so on and so forth. Uh, Missing Hiker is available right now over on Steam, so go give it a look if you are interested. It's another free release, so why not check it out? Lastly, I do also want to note Atomic Heart. A lot of you guys might be thinking that this game drops tomorrow. However, it actually releases today. This is very similar to what Bandai Namco does with their games, but the game will be out at 6 p.m. Eastern time today. I believe that's how the time conversion would work. Steam right now is noting for me that it'll be out in eight hours, so I think that's 6 p.m. Eastern time. That's when the Bandai Namco games release as well. Um, it's always the day prior to the console release, and then at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Like, Elden Ring, that happened for him. People were just jumping on to Elden Ring, 6 p.m. the day before a release. It's like, don't know why that happens, but uh, yeah, some games, I'm guessing it's like time zone conversion or something like that. Like, that's what I would have to assume. Uh, the reviews are out. I am seeing mostly positive reviews. IGN, I saw, gave it an 8 out of 10. I believe it's sitting at like a 7 75 on Metacritic or something to that extent so fairly good reception apparently the PC performance is really good um I will be checking this game out later today however before I uh, tell you guys to buy this game do bear in mind that yes while it does come out at 6 p.m on Steam it will ultimately be available on Xbox Game Pass as well I believe the Game Pass version will be launching at midnight because Game Pass is both Xbox and uh and PC, so it's like a different, you know, it's a different storefront, so essentially, it's going to be released at a different time. I imagine it would be midnight, because the PlayStation and Xbox releases are scheduled for midnight, so be on the lookout for that. Um, you know, you can pick it up then, and uh, I would probably play it through Game Pass, just because... Uh, $60, I mean, whenever you can play a game that's $60 on Game Pass instead of buying it at full price, I always think that's an advantageous option. There are times nowadays where I do buy games that um, are available on Game Pass just because they're games I'm excited for or games that I just want to have uh, ownership of. Plague Tale Requiem, I ended up buying that game just because, you know, it's Plague Tale and I love that game. But, um... Yeah, Atomic Heart, brand new IP. I know some people are a little bit on the fence about it at this stage of the game. As far as system requirements for the game goes, it's not crazy. 
Uh, minimum notes a R9 380, GTX 960, Ryzen 3 1200, or an i5 2500. Recommended is a Ryzen 5 2600X or an i7 7700K. 16 gigs of RAM uh, re recommended. Uh, 8 gigs is minimum. And uh, you've got 8 gigs of VRAM, RX 6700 XT, or an RTX 2070. So, you know, recommended GPU is a little bit on the higher end stretch. But the game looks pretty compelling from, like, a setting standpoint. I've heard the story is kind of nonsensical. So, so bear that in mind if you're looking for a gripping narrative because a lot of people were comparing this game to Bioshock and Bioshock, you know, narratively is quite compelling and uh, unfortunately it looks like this one isn't going to be something you really vibe with from a story standpoint, but this game also has a sizable amount of content which is getting lost in the shuffle as well. It's around, you know, I'm sure you can beat the game in like 15 hours, but if you want to do everything, they are noting 25 to 30 hours of content. And on top of that, you do have uh, side content that you can delve into as well if you would like to do that. So there's going to be a sizable amount for you to do in this game, you know. And the fact is, it's available on Game Pass, so at the end of the day, there's not going to be a sizable investment for you. That's why Game Pass is just absolutely nuts, like... I would, like, on PlayStation, this game's $70. Like, are people really going to be dropping $70 on this game? Like, a game that's getting, you know, mostly positive reception with 70 bucks, while you can just sign up to Game Pass on Xbox or PC and just play it that way. I imagine some people will just buy it on Steam, but, um... Yeah, it's just like a hard sell when it's just available on Game Pass, and uh, it is $60 on PC, mind you, but there is a gold edition for $90 and a premium edition for $100. Green Man Gaming, of course, they do have the game discount, I believe it's $49 and change on there, yeah, $49.19, so... And get a little bit cheaper, sub 50 bucks if you do want to buy it. But again, I would probably just say, guys, Game Pass. You sign up to Game Pass right now, by the way. Not only will you get Atomic Heart, Wo Long Fallen Dynasty is out at the beginning of next month. So if you're going to play both of those games back to back, like... That is pretty, pretty insane. And on top of that, like, if you really want to play Wild Hearts, Game Pass will give you EA Play as well, so you can play Wild Hearts that way. So, I mean, you're just getting a sizable, you know, a sizable amount of content for a month of Game Pass subscription. And on top of that, I'm pretty sure there's other notable stuff being added to Game Pass here very shortly. So, it's just value upon value when it comes to Game Pass. And, uh, yeah, that value is going to be continuing on. March, Wolong, May, Redfall, June, Starfield, hopefully. So a lot of stuff to be excited for. But that is going to do it for me. Again, check out Sky Island, a game made by a group of students in college. And I am being a little bit hyperbolic when I talk about being an absolute degenerate in college. But let me just say, I wasn't doing as cool stuff as making games that are being really well received on Steam. So give credit to them. Team Olympus is what they go by. So I'll leave a link to that in the description description box below it's being promoted on steam in the new and popular releases so check it out missing hiker another freebie on steam they're free forever so check them out when you can and then atomic heart dropping 6 p.m eastern today on steam maybe you want to wait the additional couple of hours just to play it on game pass but i thought i would bring that up to you guys game seems to run pretty well on pc and uh yeah like i mean that's been Generally a pretty big issue, as I talked about the other day, but uh, thankfully this one is all right. That'll do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.